Soccer is an amazing feat of the human body. You use your eyes to figure out where the ball is, you use your brain to figure out where you're going to move to, then you use your body to move there and kick the ball. It's really interesting to try to do all those things with the robot. So 212 Intro to Robotics is all about how robots work. This is what a motor is, this is what a mechanism is. So this kind of an encoding and transformation and it happens all the time. People try to bring all the tools and stuff that they learn in class into this particular project and that is an exciting process. It's definitely my favorite class right now. We're working on making a goalie robot that can quickly maneuver the arm around in order to stop a ball. Our whole goal is being able to track a soccer ball as it comes into the robot and then actually uh, be able to repeatedly kick it. And these are all challenging uh, uh, problems to, to look at. There's the, the kinematics, the dynamics, uh, the vision, uh, and all of this computation that it has to be done in real time. So it's, uh, it's, it's great, yeah. So what do we do about the top corner or the bottom corner? Because then we've got to bring this all the way out. It's a good combination of brainstorming and throwing out ideas and doing the calculations. We have a controls team, which is basically in charge of saying, is this feasible using the sensors and information that we have? We have a manufacturing team, which will be in charge of making it. Another member of my team is focusing on computer vision. So taking input from the different cameras and then using that to try and figure out the trajectory of the ball. You don't know how much control and how much processing it takes to just move your leg until you try to build a robotic leg. Does it, doesn't it give us enough mass to get the momentum we want? And you don't know how much it takes for your mind to just move your arm in 3D space until you have to build an arm to block a ball. We're just getting started, so <laughs> let's see how it goes. I'd be uh, dishonest if I didn't say it's a little panicky right now. Uh, it's a very aggressive timeline. We might have to put our heads down a little bit here and do a grind for a couple of days and make sure we have something at the end of the day that actually works on competition night. The harder we want to kick, the more likely our robot leg is to break. <laughs> Everyone's feeling the pressure, the time crunch, in order to get to seeing the work, but also everyone's very motivated to do it. Even though we might all be able to get our individual pieces together, it's being able to do that in real time with a real soccer ball. I think we can kick the ball, I think we can see the ball, react to the ball. I do think we'll be able to do it. I, I think we can do it. I think MIT especially is one of those places that says, oh, you want to learn something? I'm going to throw you in the deep end and make you fail a little bit. But you're definitely going to come out of it a better engineer. At the end of the day, you know, robotics is one of the coolest things that any mechanical engineer can learn.